the well-known or little-known Bobby Romanowski. <laughs> Bobby is a heck of a character. He's a heck of a personality. But let me tell you about Bobby Romanowski, what I know personally. He was my co-host uh, on our radio program, the Ramapo Roundtable. And there was a segment of that program called the Bobby Report. The Bobby Report had to be one of the best research, crisp reporting in Rockland County. And it, it served to inform the public on issues vital to the voting public, whether or not they would support or reject many resolutions coming out of the town of Ramapo. And Bobby uh, gained the respect of everyone he encountered for his in-depth knowledge. And one thing that Bobby has the bragging rights about, uh, Ed, you might like to know, Bobby can brag, well, I can brag for Bobby, that he attended just about every single town council meeting ever held in Village Hall. I mean, even his, I mean, he's the Willie Mays of town council hall there. So, Bobby Romanowski is also a very humble guy. Uh, he's, he's a champion for the cause. He's a defender of the weak. Uh, he's an independent-minded thinker. And this is the kind of endorsements that we want to convey. As I said, these are not rubber stamp endorsements. We, we reviewed all of the candidates, and there's only so many endorsements we can give, and we're proud to say that Bobby is one of them, Bobby Romanowski. Yeah, hi. Um, Bobby, again, uh, my, Tony has said it all. Um, there's nothing more I can say except that the, the, an upstanding Republican who's going to carry the ball for us where it's got to go. I do think that your that radio program, I, I remember it. I know what it is. It was an excellent program, and I do think the inclusion, the whole inclusion concept here that you do have, you work it and you live it. And with that, I want to say that um, the Latino community is a pretty large community here in, in, uh, in, Orange Co in, in Rockland County, as well as in Ramapo, and as well as in Harrisville. you got an whole area that's pretty Latino totally. Um, I do think that uh, our support will take you someplace where we hope that success prevails here. And with that, I want to say definitely, we're definitely interested in the endorsement of the Thank you. Here's a few words, Bobby. Yeah, please. Uh, thank you very much, Ruben. I appreciate it your uh, endorsement here. The endorsement means a lot to me, and I want to thank the uh, Latino National Republican Coalition of New York State and you, Ruben, as their president for giving me this endorsement. I also want to thank uh, Tony Malay here for the endorsement as their uh, Rockland County representative. At far too long, there's a lot of problems in the town of Ramapo, and as a member of the town council, I hope to improve on them. I'm a lifelong resident of the town of Ramapo. I graduated from the East Ramapo School District, and I believe in the town of Ramapo, it's time that we stop electing and re-electing politicians who are hard of hearing and who have vision problems. As far as the hard of hearing part goes, I go to a number of town meetings where I've gained most of my knowledge over the past 10 years, and people tell the board they don't want this zone change or they don't want the 61 acres of land transferred from the town ownership to the Rockland Local Development Corporation, but they do it anyway. There was a referendum in August 2010 where 71% of the people in the town said they didn't want property. They didn't want to back the bonds of the Rampo Local Development Corporation from the stadium. The town board must be blind. They didn't see that 71% didn't want it. What did they do? They did a five-year bond that wasn't subject to a permissive referendum, then strung it out to 25 to 30 years later on. And this has to stop. If you read in the papers, the controller's report, Ramapo is ranked 932 of 933 towns in Ramapo for fiscal stress. If I can get into the town board, the first thing that needs to be done is to have a total forensic audit of the finances of the town of Ramapo and the Ramapo Local Development Corporation to get a true picture of the finances of these two entities. Only then can an educated decision be made as to what can be done to improve the financial condition of the town of Ramapo. Also some other issues which I'd like to speak about. I am opposed to any more down zoning in Ramapo. I believe that the master plan should be held the way that it is. Mr. 
return Patrick Fawn. Let's return I, Patrick Fawn to his I, original yeah. funding. I, I, Patrick I, Fawn should be back to his original funding. That's right. That project received three different zone chains, two acre to one acre to adult student housing, now to the MR8 that it is now. I also do a lot of other things. I, one thing I want to do is speak to the town employees that I want to improve the culture of what's going on in Rampo Town Hall. Supervisor St. Lawrence and the Rampo Town Board forced all town employees to sign a confidentiality agreement, and this is creating a very scary and hostile work environment in the town of Rampo. And I need to change that so that the employees can work in a nice, comfortable work environment which will increase their productivity and their interest in the issues and the people of the town of Rampo. And again, I want to thank uh, Tony and Ruben and also for Ed Day for coming here to support me today. Thank you all very Good much. Good job, Bob.